Let's take a look at some of the higher components and let me ideally in this chapter convince you that the IMS is genius, particularly compared to the way we did it in the circuit switch world. So everything that you see in the orange spot right here is the IMS core. The evolved packet core is what I've just circled. That's for IP and basically uh, a bunch of overpriced routers essentially out there. Uh, and then we have the UTRAN or uh, the uh, EUTRAN, which I'm showing as Volte, which is the radio access piece. Now, what's gluing all of this stuff together is three really important protocols. This path that you see right here, which is like a multicolored path, is SIP. That's all session initiation protocol. The path that you see going across the bottom right there, that's real-time transport protocol, or RTP. And you can barely see it. You have to look closely at your screens. If you look real closely, you'll see these little fine green lines right there. That's diameter. These three protocols, plus DNS, I'll throw that on top of it, the domain name service, uh, is actually what runs this network. So what we need to do is get our arms around all of these different components, because right now you should see three blocks. The IMS core, that's the orange part. The evolved packet core, that's where the overpriced routers are. And then the radio access network, the RAN, which could be the 3G, uh, which is the green one, or the 4G version, which I'm showing you is that, that navy blue kind of color. 